Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea Bear and I have a disability called cerebral palsy. I share with you what it's like living with my disability and just keep you updated on things going on in my life. Because it's been quite some time since I've shared a long form video, this video is going to serve as me just unpacking some major life updates that have happened to me recently. Uh, catch you up to speed and then hopefully from there I'll be able to get back to my normal cadence of posting one video a week. It's my goal for the rest of the year. So if you've been keeping up with me on YouTube Shorts, you may have seen that I recently moved. Oi, go, Oi, more passion, more passion, more passion, more energy, more energy, more footwork, more footwork. That's mainly what I'm going to talk through today, kind of the reasoning behind why I moved, how the move went, and then share a little bit about my new place with you. The past couple weeks or even month and a half, I've been so busy with everything moving related, as you can imagine, coordinating vendors like movers, switching all of my addresses everywhere, packing. Packing has taken up so much more time than I thought. I always think I don't have a lot of things until I start to pack. I did a little yard sale. I brought so many things to donate, a lot going on, but I'm so excited to finally sit down, have a few minutes and share what's been going on in my life with you. People are asking, why would I move from a house into an apartment? So I want to talk about my decision behind that because uh, I know normally it's kind of the opposite flow of things. You go from an apartment to a house wanting more space, a backyard, and all of those things. I used to live in Fort Lauderdale downtown in an apartment building. When I moved to the Tampa area two years ago, the rental market, rental housing market was so, so bad that it was essentially impossible to find a place to move to uh, and I also didn't live here at the time so my roommate and I who's originally from this area we were looking online anything we saw available as soon as we went to go and apply it was already taken we kind of had to act really fast uh, this one house became available that we saw online we didn't even have time to come and look at it as soon as it was available we applied and got approved and essentially didn't see it until the first day we moved in with all of our stuff that we brought all the way from Fort Lauderdale to Tampa. That first day <laughs> moving in we had realized we made kind of a big mistake um, just because there were a lot of issues with the house we were renting through a bigger rental company and it wasn't you know direct to owner so every time we had issues with the house they took forever to get back to us if they even did it all and i'm not just talking little things like when i first moved in my shower didn't work like the water did not come out of the drain and i had to fight for them for over a month and a half to even get someone to first come out and look at it initially i liked the idea of a house um, but I think when you're renting a house and you can't make the decisions you want about it and you have to put money into something that you don't own yourself, it can be really defeating. So after two years of that, um, basically my roommate and I, who's also my best friend and like a sister to me, uh, we decided we wanted to go back to the apartment lifestyle. I personally really enjoy living in an apartment. Um, you know, I really missed the last two years having the amenities like a gym, a pool, um, having a maintenance team close by that can usually come out and fix something, you know, even the same day you put a request in. So just where I'm currently at in life, you know, I'm not married, I'm not looking to buy a house right now because I don't know where I'm going to be the rest of my life or even the next couple years. Um, you know, renting is the best choice for me and renting an apartment is the best option because of those things I said before. The apartment that I found here that I can't wait to show you guys, it has all updated appliances. When the house I was renting, everything was super outdated. And just the layout of the house itself was really hard for me to navigate with a disability. Um, you know, every door I walked into kind of opened the opposite way. The light switches were on the other side of the room. My bathroom door, I had to step backwards <laughs> to even get out of it. Um, so I think it really contributed to me feeling uneasy on my feet because being in my own house where I lived, I didn't feel comfortable getting around. So I'm really hopeful for this new place. It's a lot more spacious. Um, it's kind of the same square footage. 
ironically, but the layout just makes so much more sense where it's easier for me to get around. There's more space for me to make wide turns if needed. Um, so I'm just really hopeful that it will be more helpful for me as someone with a disability and my specific needs. There was one caveat to moving into this apartment building. So the area that I'm at, there weren't a lot of apartment buildings that had elevators. And unfortunately, they don't really reserve first floor apartments for people with disabilities. It's really first come, first serve. That is obviously something I need. You know, walking up the stairs every day just is not an option for me. Um, so a lot of planning in advance went into this move and a lot of research and that is one tip I'll give anyone if you're renting do your research on who you're renting from um, I've rented ever since I was in college which has been over 10 years now and I for the most part have been very fortunate with pretty good uh, people that I've rented from but this past house that I was just in was definitely my worst experience by far. Um, it was just one of those bigger rental companies that they don't have that personal relationship with you. You're just contributing to their bigger purpose of making money and they don't care about um, you know your well-being. Like I've had two times being in the house the air conditioning went out. I live in Florida. The house got up to over 90 degrees and no one would respond to me to send someone out that I would have to pay out of my own pocket to remedy the situation. So just do your research. <laughs> Something else I didn't really touch on in my shorts is where I moved to. If you couldn't tell from the videos, I'm still in the same area. I'm still in Tampa Bay. Um, like I said, just a new location. Just wanted to get out of that house into a better situation, which I'm at now. So I'm just very grateful to be here. I'm grateful that the very big part of the move has happened. We had movers come in, which I just shared about. I just moved for the fifth time since college and this is how I contribute as someone with limited mobility. I handle the calls prior to a move for things like setting up electricity. It was the first time ever that I had movers help thanks to an awesome company named Bellhop. Since I can't contribute to lifting and carrying things, they made the whole process so much easier for my family and friends that usually help me. When the truck was almost packed, I headed over to the new place to let them in. Bellhop took such good care of all of our furniture and things while moving from the house I rented to my new apartment. I started to unpack small things that I could when some boxes were in. And I try to be useful by setting up Wi-Fi and electronics while staying out of the way. Overall, this was the smoothest move I've ever had and I'm so grateful for Bellhop services. I'll never not use movers again. I'm so excited to share this new place with you. Let me know in the comments what you want to see first. Um, and now I'll briefly talk about my new place. As I said, it is an apartment. Um, my roommate and I both work from home, so we were able to find something within our budget that's actually a three-bedroom. So we thankfully have an office. I'm really excited to hopefully give you a tour sometime soon. I have a lot of travel coming up, but when I am home, I've been focusing on unpacking and slowly decorating. Um, as some of you may remember, I had a video go viral on YouTube about getting up and down from my couch. I have cerebral palsy and unfortunately I also have a very low couch and it's hard for me to get up from the seated position without adapting or holding on to anything. So I'm going to show you how I get up from the couch in my living room. So I have this folding tray table right here and I actually use it as an aid. So I'll get up to the edge of the seat, put one hand here, the other here, and try to take as much pressure off my knees as possible and that's one way and then if I don't have this around me um, I'm sitting I have to usually get all the way on the ground like this and then lift myself again so hopefully I'll have a new couch soon but for now this is what I do um, that couch I actually got rid of during this move. I did not want to bring it to this new place because I knew that I needed something new with how bad my knees have been. So I actually donated that couch to my sister. So it's in good hands. Um, but in the meantime, while I'm waiting for my new couch to get here, I've just been hanging out on other chairs that I had in my old living room. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. My new living room, my new couch. Um, and I'm hopefully, if you're interested, we'll take you along through the, the, the decor of my bathroom and my bedroom, all of that fun stuff. Um, but once that's all in a good place, I will do an apartment tour. 
and I'm just really excited. I feel much more motivated here to create content. My other place just felt very stuffy and it wasn't a place that I was lit up by. I always struggled to find areas of the house that I wanted to record in. So I'm really hopeful that this will be a positive change for my content. And I'm just very grateful for you for watching, for supporting me. And as always, let me know in the comments what kind of content you're interested in. I just wanted to give you this quick life update before my travels the next couple of weeks. And we'll get into some fun things. I'm going on some fun adventures and I hope you're interested in continuing to watch. But thank you all for your support as always and have a great day.